The operant conditioning we do at uh, Bear Hollow Zoo in Athens, Georgia is specifically to help facilitate physical examinations and veterinary treatments. This makes it less stressful on the animals and also easier on the clinicians and technicians and veterinary students. With the deer, Ginger, uh, she doesn't particularly like to be restrained, so in, even though she's well habituated to humans being around, uh, getting her to stand still while you hold her can sometimes be difficult. And so our hug command is really to try to habituate her to gentle restraint. And we're not using the word at the moment since she hasn't been worked at it for a while. I'm just trying to get her to be tolerant of my touching her while she eats grapes. The idea being to get her so she doesn't struggle if she's restrained for a veterinary exam. Ginger also, being very habituated to humans, has a little tendency to push up against them, which is not necessarily good if you have a small or timid human. And so we've trained her to the back command. Good girl, Ginger. And target? she's also been trained to target, which in the future we hope to use to uh, facilitate her moving in certain ways. With the bobcats, one of the big reasons that we came out here at all was the problems that they were having with getting the bobcats into the cages where they had to be restrained for veterinary examinations. The bobcats had learned that when they went in those cages, unpleasant things, as in veterinary care, always happened. So if a human was near, they would avoid getting into the cages. What we did about that problem was start some simple training of getting the bobcat to approach a trainer at the fence line, not at the cage, and then come, sit, and come again as the trainer walked along the fence line. Eventually, the trainer started moving towards the caging and over a period of many months got the bat bobcats into the cage and now training sessions are routinely done with the bobcats in the cage. Bat. 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 Good girl, Danielle. <coughs> and the doors are closed and opened and closed. Uh, so the bobcats just get comfortable and familiar with being caught. It's just a normal part of their life. So now we've dropped the door and Danielle is caught and as you can see, she's not concerned. She was concerned when I moved a little too fast there, but uh, she was quite comfortable. And a few years ago, she wouldn't have come near this house if humans were around. Now she readily comes in and she just sits around while we go ahead and close the door on her, which is a big improvement as far as being able to manage her for veterinary care. For the otters, what we're trying to do is, again, to just get them to come up to the cage, to walk up to the cage, uh, and walk up the cage wall so that their abdomens can be examined uh, to allow their arms to be held. And what we hope to start doing in the near future is to start getting them to okay. accept solutions from a syringe, yeah. which will routinely be something like tuna juice, but eventually we can potentially slip uh, medicines that don't taste too badly into their mixes and have them readily take medications that they need.